Hello everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. We're going to be using the Yepo card and some of our pure alcohol inks today. So we've got a blending tool um, and we're going to need a brayer and we've also got our alcohol lift ink and we've got our blending solution. Now we're going to take a print from the Yepo onto our cream multifarious card. So have that ready and we're going to start by just using a couple of colours to create the background. So this is Cloudburst. I'm also using Jade Stone. And we've got Sea Mist as well. And then let's just add plenty of blending solution. Now we always put a fair bit of blending solution on just so that we get that movement. And now using our air dryer on a low setting we're just going to chase the colour around the card. Make sure that's completely dry. to start adding some more colour. So I've got Flamingo Blush here. I'm going to pop that on first. And then I'm going to use Indigo Sky. So again, I'm going to dry that off. And now we're going to be using the alcohol lift ink. And we've got our multifarious card ready. Now we need to move quite quickly with this because as soon as we put this onto the Yepo, the colors are going to start moving. So, Make sure you've got your brayer at hand and we're going to take a line of the ink across the top and then sweep that down the card and then let's pop that over the top and see what we get. And there we go. And it gives us a really nice background. Something ready to stamp onto. Now of course you don't have to do this technique. You can stamp onto the Yippo. But you need the archival ink. And stamping onto Yippo is a little bit tricky. Because you've got two non-porous surfaces. You've got a polymer stamp and you've got a synthetic card. So to get a true print can be a little bit tricky. That's why I tend to use this method, which means I can stamp onto this using our Versifying Claire. Okay, I'm going to trim that down. Go that way. And I'm going to use Nocturne. So, inking up, making sure she's completely covered, 
and then I'm going to pop her down here like so. And now I'm going to just ground her so I've got one of my masks here and then using the twilight I'm just going to sweep that over the bottom like so and that will just ground her and I'm going to go over the top again just to give it a little bit more atmosphere now just by going around the edge it automatically pulls your eye into the centre where it's lighter And then we've got our lovely owl. I'm going to ink, ink the owl up in the twilight. It's a lovely colour, it's like a navy blue. And I'm going to pop him down round about there. Like so. I'm going to finish off with some words I'm going back to twilight inking up and then just popping the verse around the edge So lastly I'm using the Posca pen and I'm just going to put a few little orbs around and let's finish off with a little bit of glitter. I'm just going to pop a little just down here and there we go so that's just another technique something a little bit different again I hope it's uh, inspired you to have a go yourselves it's quite good fun using the Yapo and taking a print onto the multifarious card so why not give it a go thanks so much for joining me guys you take care and we'll see you real soon and bye for now